Hello folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and I'm here with a few uh, Geiger counter and scintillation counter tips and I'm holding my camera so it's a little shaky today but anyhow, uh, just some basic tips that'll help you in your travels. Tip one, when you have a Geiger counter be it a analog type like this or a digital type like this power them on and remember to give them enough time to fully warm up. The reason is because older units like this require 10 to 20 seconds sometimes to fully warm up and units like this take time to reach statistical accuracy. When powering up always turn your dial from the off to either the battery check or to the maximum possible position. Battery check is preferable if it exists on your unit and then after that the maximum possible position. The reason for this is you want to know as quickly as possible what your reading is and if you're in a reasonably high radiation environment that may not come out right. Let me show you. With the sound cut off I'm going to turn the power on to the times one position. Let's see what we get. Immediately we're hard over. It may take us a second of fine tuning per position until we realize just how hot the environment is. Only now might we realize that we've been exposed to a lot. Whereas, if we start out in the times 100 position, we will within a few seconds know that we're in a pretty decent little field, but nothing too much. It's the smarter way to do it. At that point, we can adjust down by switching to times 100 to 10 until we find a, a setting that's no more preferable for what it is that we're monitoring. For digital units, this isn't required as they automatically go to exactly where they need to be. When testing an object to see if it's radioactive, it's important, we'll take the object right here, to A, have the sound on. We can adjust that here. This type of unit over here has an actual audio button. And it is important not to move too fast. And as soon as we're off scale, to adjust our meter accordingly. You cannot move too fast. Slow is how you do it. The same is also true with the digital model. Slow wins the race. And now lastly, when switching probes on a unit that's capable of switching probes, for example, the CDV700 has been modified to have a high miniature high voltage jack, power the unit off, count at least to 10, and by the way, you should always, uh, always either contract your manufacturer or read your manual, because the instructions in there may be actually more specific to your unit than what I'm telling you, but if you have no instructions and you're not sure what to do, at a minimum, wait at least 10 seconds. Carefully unscrew and remove the cable. Bring over your new probe, in this case a pickle probe. Now we want to attach it. Make sure it's seated firmly. And now, again, turn to the times 100. Give it four or five seconds to build up. Times 10. And now times one. And at this point, we can use it to test. But anyhow, this has been Tom from anti-proton.com and those are just a couple little quick tips for you. Bye bye.